Hello students, we are looking at option 2, 4.7 creative option planning document for your summative. So remember, remember there are two different options you can choose. This is the second option. If you do choose this option, you will use your knowledge of your book to write a new short story based on your book. The short story can have either an alternate ending, an extra scene not included in the original, a sequel exploring what happens after the book, or a spin-off. This is your chance to respond to your book and add your own voice to it, so be creative. You will also write a short rationale explaining why you made the choices you made in your short story and how they connect to the book that you read for this unit. We're going to look at an example of a rationale at the end of this recording, just so you understand what that means. Um, another point before I continue is uh, this planning document will actually be your mastery check for 4.7. All right. Uh, the story will be graded on the following criteria. Number one, the clear and interesting short story needs to be at least 400 words in length. Uh, the story demonstrates a strong understanding of the book that it's based on, the book that you read. Uh, the rationale of at least 50 words shows thoughtful reflection and clearly explains your choices. Definition for rationale is clearly explains my choices and justifies them with connections to the original book. Again, we're going to take a look at a sample rationale in a little bit. This uh, Number four, fourth criteria that we're grading this on is the story needs to be original, creative, and error-free. So if you don't have Grammarly downloaded, you might want to download that to help you keep your uh, creative production original and error-free. Uh, the checklist here is very similar to the criteria listed above. The only thing that's uh, new or added is stay true to the characters and themes of the original book. You want to make sure that you're continuing on with the same people. Um, let's take a look at some of the things that you need to fill out for this planning document. Step one, uh, please get started by completing these answers below. This is a must do. So, number one says, summarize your choice reading the book. What was it about? What genre was it? What moments do you remember most clearly? Number two, describe your idea for your new short story. Will it be a prequel, sequel, alternate ending, missing scene, spinoff, or something else? Whatever. We want you to be creative here. Uh, number three, what characters from the original book will be the focus of your short story? Number four, what situation or plot event will the characters have to deal with in your short story? Brainstorm at least two possible ideas. Number five, uh, explain your rationale for this new story. Why would this be an interesting addition to the original book? And what connections will you make between your new creation and your original book? Uh, step two is a should do, however. I strongly recommend that you look at these samples. There are two, there are two short story samples that, that you can look at, uh, which will help you if you have any questions about what this option might look like. Uh, step three, again, is a should do. Uh, this will help you if you're having trouble getting started with the opening of your story. There is, here are some examples. You can start with a dialogue, a question, or an action. And there are some um, sentence starters that you could use to help you choose one of these for the beginning. Step four is a must do. We do need you to ch use your favorite story opening above or your own idea and write the first paragraph of your story. Uh, lastly, step five is an aspire to do. If you want to get some feedback from your peers, Go ahead and ask your um, classmates to check out what you've written and, and see what their um, response is to it. See if they think it sounds like a good idea. Um, I do want to look at one of these sample stories just to show you the rationale. Again, this is probably a good idea if you're kind of, if you learn a lot from other people's writings. This is a short story um, that was made from uh, the book, uh, A Raisin in the Sun. So you can see this is what 400 words looks like. Down here, we have the rationale and a couple sentence starters that I see um, that 
that you could probably use is I was interested in the character blank and then fill that in and why I chose to write a missing scene from this perspective so why and they explain why um, they go on to say I decided to write this scene as an internal dialogue instead of as a play so notice that this uh, rationale is it, it's kind of like giving evidence as to why um, this person chose to write what they wrote and again this rationale needs to be at least 50 words um, I wish you the best of luck in choosing your option for your summative please let us know if you have any questions um, and we'd love to help thank you bye-bye